Hey, survival horror enthusiasts. Welcome back to Did You Know? Indonesia. Today we're diving into the action-packed narrative of Resident Evil 6. Unleashed in 2012, this chapter catapults us on a global thrill ride through bioterrorism, conspiracy, and naturally zombie-slaying chaos. From the haunting halls of Tall Oaks University to the treacherous terrains of Eastern Europe and beyond, we'll explore the intertwining stories of familiar faces and newcomers alike. So buckle up, as we're about to delve deep into the heart of this legendary franchise. But before we embark on this journey through darkness and despair, don't forget to show some love by hitting that like button and subscribing for more spine-chilling content. So are you ready to face the undead and unravel the mysteries of Resident Evil 6? Great, let's get into the story. The story kicks off with a bioterrorist attack at Tall Oaks University. Amid the chaos and terror, we meet Leon S. Kennedy, not the rookie cop we once knew, but now a seasoned U.S. government agent. Leon is no stranger to the horrors of bioterrorism, having survived the Raccoon City incident. But even his vast experience couldn't have prepared him for what was to come. The C-Virus, a deadly pathogen, sweeps through the university, turning students and faculty alike into grotesque creatures. Among the infected is none other than the President of the United States, a close friend of Leon's. The sight of the President, now a monstrous creature, is a chilling reminder of the destructive power of bioterrorism. Leon, along with his new partner Helena Harper, must navigate through the nightmare that Tall Oaks has become. Dead bodies litter the streets, those lucky enough to survive are in a state of panic, and the infected are on the hunt, their only goal to spread the virus further. Yet, amid the chaos, Leon remains steadfast. His mission is clear, to expose the truth behind the outbreak and put an end to the bioterrorism threat once and for all. This sets the stage for Leon's intense battle against the rising bioterrorism threat. We shift gears to Eastern Europe, where Chris Redfield, a veteran of the series, is grappling with the loss of his squad. Once an unshakable figure, Chris is now fraught with guilt and anger, tormented by the memories of his fallen comrades. His personal struggles are a stark contrast to the steely determination we've come to associate with him, but despite the emotional turmoil, Chris remains a formidable force in the face of bioterrorism. In the heart of Eastern Europe, a new threat emerges, a bio-organic weapon known as Bao. This isn't just another zombie outbreak. These creatures are far more advanced, far more deadly. They're products of a new era of bioterrorism. And Chris, alongside his new partner, Piers Nivens, finds himself at the forefront of this battle. But the bow threat isn't the only concern. Lurking in the shadows is the mysterious organization Neo Umbrella. Though their name harks back to the infamous Umbrella Corporation, their agenda remains shrouded in mystery. Are they simply a resurgence of the old corporation? Or do they represent a fresh wave of terror? As Chris and Piers navigate this hostile landscape, they uncover unsettling truths, revealing the depth of Neo Umbrella's plans. This isn't just a fight for survival anymore, it's a battle against a global conspiracy. This sets the stage for a world on the brink of chaos, teetering at the edge of a nightmare. In Edonia, Jake Muller, the son of Albert Wesker, finds himself pursued by both bows and mysterious forces. Jake, a mercenary with a chip on his shoulder, is a character of great importance due to his bloodline. His father, Albert Wesker, was a major antagonist in the series, and Jake carries a unique strain of the virus in his blood, which makes him a valuable asset to those seeking to weaponize it. Enter Sherry Birkin a government agent with a past that's intricately woven into the fabric of the Resident Evil series. She's the daughter of William and Annette Birkin, the scientist responsible for the creation of the G-Virus. Sherry herself was a victim of the virus, but she was saved by a vaccine that also left her with enhanced regenerative abilities. Their paths cross in the war-torn streets of Edonia. Sherry is on a mission to retrieve a sample of Jake's blood to potentially create a C-Virus antidote Jake, on the other hand, is just trying to survive. But when they realize they're being hunted by the same forces, they decide to join forces. Their journey is fraught with danger at every turn, pushing them to their limits. However, they also discover a mutual understanding and respect for each other, strengthening their bond. As they navigate through the chaos, they uncover sinister plots and dark secrets. Together, they embark on a perilous journey of escape and revelation. Scene script. Ada Wong, the enigmatic figure, weaves her own narrative through Lanxiang, China. Ada, a character as complex as the plot she threads through, 
is a seasoned spy with skills to match. Her actions, often shrouded in secrecy, keep us on the edge of our seats. Her role in Resident Evil 6 is a fascinating one. Ada is not just an observer, she's a key player in the intricate dance of bioterrorism and global conspiracy. She navigates the chaos with a cool head and a sharp aim, her motives remaining elusive to both her allies and enemies. Ada's journey is not a solitary one. As she moves through the shadowy lanes of Lanxiang, her story intersects with those of others. With Leon, an old acquaintance, their shared history adds a touch of personal drama to the global crisis. And with Chris and Jake, her involvement only deepens the mystery surrounding her. Her actions, whether it's battling the infected or decoding the secrets of the sea virus, have a ripple effect on the grander narrative. Every move she makes, every secret she uncovers, serves to peel back another layer of the convoluted plot. And it's not just about the action. Ada's journey is also about understanding her character, her motivations, and her place in the world of Resident Evil. Through her, we get a different perspective on the events unfolding around her. Ada's storyline adds layers to the overarching plot. Her secrets, once unraveled, will lead us closer to the truth behind the bioterror nightmare. The narrative reaches its climax as all characters converge in Lanxiang. This bustling city becomes a battlefield as our protagonists, Leon, Chris, Jake and Sherry, find themselves at the heart of a grand conspiracy. It's a maze of intrigue and danger orchestrated by the enigmatic Neo Umbrella and the elusive Ada Wong. As they navigate the treacherous terrain of this city, they uncover a plot that has far-reaching implications. The Sea Virus, a tool of mass destruction, is at the epicenter of this conspiracy, threatening to plunge the world into chaos. Our heroes, each with their own motivations and fears, must work together, their individual narratives intertwining in a dance of survival and determination. They face a mission that's about more than their own survival. It's about the survival of humanity itself. The tension escalates, the stakes are higher than ever, and the fate of the world hangs in the balance. The story concludes with a high-stakes showdown against the Neo Umbrella leader, Carla Radames. This is where the climax of Resident Evil 6 takes place. Our heroes, Leon, Chris, Jake and Sherry, find themselves face to face with the architect of the global bioterrorism crisis. Carla Radams, the mastermind behind Neo Umbrella, reveals herself not as an ally but as a formidable adversary. As the tension escalates, some shocking revelations come to light. Ada Wong, the enigmatic and elusive figure, is found to be entangled in a deep-seated conspiracy with Carla. The plot thickens as we learn about their intricate connection and the true motivations behind the creation and release of the sea virus The final confrontation is a test of our hero's resilience, courage and determination. The stakes are high and the odds are stacked against them. But these are no ordinary individuals. They are hardened survivors, battle-scarred veterans and relentless fighters. They are humanity's last hope against the looming threat of global destruction. As the battle intensifies, our heroes push beyond their limits. They fight not just for their own survival, but for the survival of humanity. Each blow they land, each shot they fire, is a desperate plea for a future free from the terror of bioterrorism. The climax is a testament to their indomitable spirit. It is a gripping portrayal of their struggle against overwhelming odds. Our heroes face overwhelming odds as they strive to save humanity from the brink of destruction. As the dust settles, our heroes reflect on the events that unfolded. The echoes of their battles still ring in the air, a chilling reminder of the bioterrorism that gripped the world. The scars run deep, not just on the flesh, but on the psyche of humanity. The ordeal has left an indelible mark on each of them, forever altering their perception of the world. Resident Evil 6 leaves us with a mix of action, horror, and a glimpse into the complex web of conspiracies that define the Resident Evil universe. And there you have it, the roller coaster ride that is Resident Evil 6. It's a journey filled with suspense, action, and a web of conspiracies that keeps you on your toes. If this wild ride sparked your interest, don't hesitate to give this video a thumbs up. Want to dive deeper into the Resident Evil universe? Make sure you're subscribed and have that notification bell turned on. There's plenty more where this came from. Until next time, this is Morgan Payman from Did You Know Indonesia signing off.